pretty much all my all my life I've been feeding. It, uh, my artistic is our uh, eight runs in the family. Gordon Wesley works in the mediums of oil paint and pen and ink. He is a self-taught artist and showcasing his work today at authentically indigenous holiday marketplace. Artwork is uh, based on uh, wildlife, uh, my uh, ancestors, landscapes. Authentically Indigenous is a market created by sisters, and since its inception, it's grown a lot. In the beginning, there was 15 vendors. Now, there's 75. It makes me so happy. Like, I'm an artist myself, and being able to be out there and being in spaces that were accessible for Indigenous artists or that we weren't welcome in that same space. So my first thought was, I need to make space. There isn't any, you got to make it. The authentically Indigenous holiday market started in 2015. Melreen Saloy says when it began, they planned for a month, and now it's an all-year process. Saloy says the goal of the market is to be authentic, making sure that the art sold at each booth is by the artist. And in the beginning, we had artists that came in with one or two things on their table. Now they show up with Square, and they have ways of transactions and banners and business cards, and they were able to network with other artists to be like, where did you get Get that where's your next setup you know kind of understand and be able to have mentors with between each other the market showcases a range of items from beadwork to clothing like this line called the res life donna wapas is working with her daughter who created the line two and a half years ago res life is about promoting pride and identity for first nations people the statement pieces that we bring out is to create that pride for our people and to have some some humor in, in all of it and so that we can actually be strong, independent nation. In Calgary, Dinina Falkenberg, City News.